Rabbits. Wild rabbits in Australia are suspected of being the single most significant factor in species loss in this country. Their effects on our native land since their introduction with the first fleet in 1788, thanks Captain Cook, have been utterly devastating. Due to their rapid breeding and grazing habits, simply put, they eat all the food, which in turn leads to our native species starving to the point of extinction. They are also responsible for countless plant loss as they mash new shoots, then move on to woodier species such as trees in orchards and in native scrub, essentially ring bark the trees more or less killing them on top of this they obliterate crops causing millions of dollars of loss each year to farmers which of course that cost then passes on to the consumer that's you that's me we're the consumers we're paying for this shit man but it doesn't stop there ladies and gentlemen and, and other they are also responsible for mass erosion by exposing topsoil to savage winds and harsh weather conditions a lot of which is believed to take hundreds of years to restore once the rabbits are done smashing it simply put they fucking suck but of course like every species on the planet aside from humans they don't know what they are doing is wrong they probably don't even know the difference between right and wrong like do lesser species even have a moral compass probably not in other words they are kind of innocent like they don't mean to be jerks but they are jerks regardless we still have to be ethical when culling them but they do need to be culled fortunately they are fairly easy to catch and taste delicious if you cook them right they also have one of the highest protein counts per pound of flesh on the planet more than chicken for example like chicken breast which means they are super healthy Healthy. So today, I'm dusting off the old bow, and I'm gonna catch me some dinner. So uh, here we are at my cousin's farm. Just doing a bit of rabbit shooting. It wasn't a very successful day. Uh, I'm always a bit early, I should probably be starting now. But I got me some dinner. So that ought to do it. It's a little bit small, but I'll make a, a stew out of that. Just using the PSC Stinger Extreme. It's a pretty good entry level bow. I'm pretty new to the whole thing. I've only been shooting for about two, three years, but really only shooting on a compound for maybe two years. And then again, like intermittently, <laughs> I, don't, I don't shoot too often, but Got two rabbits today. One was irretrievable, unfortunately. Also, my technology failed me, fucking GoPro. So, I don't actually have a shot of me getting this little guy. But there's a little bit of footage there we'll use. I'm just using field tips as I find them to be most effective on the rabbits. A broadhead rips them up too much. The bludgeons knock them about, they run off. The judos, they're okay if you get them in the head again, they just stick into the rabbit don't really do enough damage in my opinion even though I'm probably shooting this thing at about 50 pounds uh, I can go up to 70 but I'm only shooting at about 50 uh, even with a judo point they don't I mean, I've shot heaps of rabbits with a judo point but it's not I don't know I just find the field tips to be a cheap and easy solution pins them to the ground most of the time if they don't die straight away you can run over them and seal the deal except unless <laughs> run into a blackberry bush so usually I'd stick around for another hour I'll probably have a shot on the way out on the walk back home but uh, I'm hungry man and I'm thirsty I only brought one beer and that's well and truly sunk you got to stay hydrated so uh, better luck next time the hardest part about shooting rabbits in this particular spot is they have built their shitty rabbit city under a massive blackberry thicket. They rarely venture far from their spiky fortress, at least not until dusk. I am way too early today, so I have to take quite long shots as they typically scatter before I get close enough to shoot comfortably. It sounds a bit dodgy, but pretty much no matter where you hit them, they will die almost right away. Occasionally they spring a few meters away, then drop dead. And in this case, that's kind of shit because they typically jump into a massive thicket. As mentioned, I shot a rabbit just before, but lost him and my arrow in a massive blackberry very thicket. I spent ages trying to retrieve him, but I just ended up shredded. My hands ended up all cut from the blackberry. Uh, but I do take comfort knowing he would have died shortly afterwards. But I still lost my kill, my dinner, and my bloody expensive arrow, so it's not ideal. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's important to stay hydrated in these conditions. 
When hunting rabbits, it's best to come at dusk. That's when they typically come out of their warrens to feed. You should move slow, stop and wait for a bit every few meters to scout your area as they're pretty good at blending into the background. And as they have excellent hearing, even the tiniest crunch of a footstep can put them on high alert. If their ears are up, it means they've been startled and one more bit of sound could send them bolting. So walk a few feet, stop, look around, then continue on. It's safe to approach or get closer to a rabbit when the ears are down, but as soon as those ears prick up, you should stop and wait, wait for them to relax a bit. You can hunt rabbits pretty much all year, but I reckon late autumn is the best as the rabbits get nice and fat in preparation for the coming winter, which means more meat and more yummy fat on that meat, which makes them better to cook. So yeah, another bummer when bow hunting is the loss of arrows that are either irretrievable or that broke on a rock or something. Certainly, it's not cheaper than a 22 bullet, but it's rewarding when you finally do get something to eat, and it's exciting. Oh. Oh. Sorry, little dude. That was a good 40 meter shot. Oh, it's just nerves now. So there you go, folks, dinner. We have a few videos showing how to cook rabbit in a variety of different ways, so check those out. I'll put a link in the description. Hey, let us know in the comments if you want to see more hunting and dressing videos and consider subscribing for regular Churu content. Yeah.